the best achievement, quote unquote, I've ever done in my life is to have my three daughters, to have my children. And I am pained by the fact that the young generation of today are pressured to choose between the career and their family. Happy Women's Day. Uh, I think we all deserve a big round of applause for ourselves and all the wonderful women in our lives. I turned on Google this morning and Google had Women's Day and it was all in lavender. And unfortunately, I didn't have anything lavender to wear. So this is the closest I could get. So um, here, here I am. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about working women, because that's working mothers, because that's what I am. Um, I come from a long line of very strong Korean women. My grandmother in the 1800s was the first female girl in her neighborhood, in her family to attend elementary school. And she made sure that her six children, both boys and girls, received the highest education my mother, at the age of 18, just after the Korean War, went by herself to the United States and pursued an education in music at Juilliard. And she made sure that her four daughters each received the highest education and were able to pursue a career. Me, I've been the first of many things, if you read, read my bio. Um, I have three daughters, and I have taught my daughters not just to pursue their career, but pursue anything that they wanted to do. I'm sure my family really sounds like a lot of Korean women that you know, strong, intelligent, motivated. But then, why are we on the bottom rung of the UN gender inequality rung? So this is my attempt to sort of answer that question. And I think it has some lessons for us all. You know, we, we talk about the corporate inequalities and in, in, in the social life. I want to sort of focus on the more traditional roles that Korean women have continued to bear, which is, as um, Ambassador Oh talked about, within the household, um, that they were in charge of ev almost everything within the household, but in charge of one thing that you know Korean society values more than anything else, and that is the education of the children. Now, here's what I experienced and observed and um, so, like most things in Korea, Korean women today have changed rapidly. Pali pali, you know, everything happens at, at, at lightning speed. So they have, um, they have been educated, they want careers, they want to pursue their careers, they want to find equal voice in society. Yet the social norms, the tradition of the women bearing the responsibility for education has not been that quick to shift, which is very unusual. It is, it is changing, and people keep saying it's changing slowly, as if that was okay. But it's not, not in Korea, where everything goes, as I said, at lightning speed. And so too much of the pressure that my grandmother felt, my mother felt, that I felt, my daughters still feel. Right now, as we talk about women's rights and inter-equality and celebrate International Women's Days, in corporate bathrooms everywhere, there are working mothers hiding out, talking on their cell phone um, to their children, to their children. It's about lunchtime, to their children, to their children's teachers, to their children's caretakers. And the, the conversation is like, good nani? Did you finish school? You know, they're in the bathroom, so they can't speak loudly. They, they said they were going to the bathroom, but they're actually talking to their children. Kanani, did you finish school? Um, oh, 선생님, teacher, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I didn't pack 
the right you know, books for, for my children's education. Mom, 엄마, 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 애 어디 갔어? Pick up 했어? Mom, did, were you able to pick up the kids? I know, because that was me. That was me not so much long ago. So in Korea, not only do women still carry the burden of raising successful children on their shoulders, but they also need to do now well in work and compete with fellow workers, male and female. So is it any wonder that working mothers are stressed, overworked, unhappy, and what would you expect them to say when other young women ask their advice about whether they should have children if they want a successful career? What would you say? So in most countries, in most countries around the world, development entails women leaving the household and joining the workforce. But in order for societies to still function, societies adjust to these changing circumstances. In Korea, that adjustment is still in the process and is happening very slow, too slow, in my humble opinion. And if there's any indication that this is not working, it's the feeling that Korean women have said, enough is enough. We're not doing it. We're not caring both. When young Korean women are forced to choose between the career and raising a family, increasingly they are choosing their careers. And you can see that when society moves too slowly and leaves their women, their mothers unprotected, society suffers. And it's not just that. I've had a relatively successful career. But my most difficult moments in life was when I, when I questioned myself, when I criticized myself and asked myself, did I sacrifice my children's education and their success for my success? And I felt I should just give it all up and stay home and nurture them. I have felt that many times in my career. And yet, Despite all of this, I still feel, I truly feel the best thing I have ever done in my life, the best achievement, quote unquote, I've ever done in my life is to have my three daughters, to have my children. And I am pained by the fact that the young generation of today are pressured to choose between the career and their family. I come from a long line of strong Korean women, and I really dearly hope that we are heading toward a society where we take care of each other, whether we are men or women, and that my three strong daughters will buck the trend, have children, and carry on the legacy. I hope that this morning. Thank you.